G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zilwoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, welcome back to update 1.0, <laughs> where it's just started raining all on my parade. I'm going to quickly slink back inside, well hopefully I can keep dry, but I'm coming back after having just faced down the Day 42 Blood Brune Horde, and it actually... I mean, aside from everything that happened during the day leading up to the Horde 9, the Horde itself actually went pretty well. So, for the final week of our first run through of 1.0, we've maxed everything out. It's insane difficulty, it's nightmare speeds in day or night for Feral or whatever, and we've made the, the next zombie Horde, if we make it that far, as the thunder comes rather ominously, the next zombie Horde will be 32 zombies as well. So everything is about as bad as it can get. I need to sort out all my Horde Knight loot and get cracking on. Because <sighs> there's a whole new wasteland out there to explore. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. I didn't even use my tier 5 M60. So I just put all my ammo back in you. I have got so much ammo on me now. I am rocking and rolling with all sorts of firepower. While I'm thinking of it though, I do need to quickly reload you. You burn through... Did you burn through all your ammo, Sean? Or there's no... Oh, maybe you did. Maybe you did. I was going to say, there's no way you burned through 450 rounds of shotgun, but okay. I uh, might have... Oh, I might run out of shotgun ammo. That was a problem that I never anticipated. Drop down to you. Chuck you back up into there. Make sure you're all kitted out. Because I'm still going to have screamers and stuff showing up. So having you guys... Oh, in fact... You're running out. I do have a generator. I have to go plug in a jetty to get some power going again. Because if a screamer shows up, I want those turrets to take care of it for me before she starts squealing. Just need to grab a wire tool real quick. I've got some repair kits. I've got some engines and some fuel. Repair both of my, my weapons. I've also replaced the muzzle brakes back with their suppressors like they're supposed to be. And while you're doing that, that's the wrong way. I want to go from the generator to the battery bank. You can take all of that and quickly just recharge those batteries for me. That's all. Refuel. Turn on. I think you need to be on to get charged. Not a thousand percent so, uh, percent sure even. Which one's running? You're running the turret. So turn off those ones. Save some power. All right. There we go. We're ready to rock and roll. All my weapons are good. You're looking good. Change it back over to that one though. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. We're looking very pretty up here. Well, after such a successful horde night, I need... I don't, I don't need, but I will make a bad decision. For a motorcycle or my gyrocopter. Now that we've turned... Oh, it looks so good. I, even after all this time, I still get taken aback by how good this game looks sometimes. Um... Yeah, now that we've turned everything up to the maximum, sure, let's go take on something new, something probably pretty risky, probably not a great idea. There's that new bank skyscraper out here somewhere that I haven't seen before. It's a brand new building to me. I've never gone through it, and it looks really cool. So that, yeah, that one there, that I think is where we're going to have a crack at. This one here, like this, this slightly shorter one, I've seen when I first looked at, at 1.0, which I absolutely love. I'll leave it you at some point, Zillion Tower. But this one, this one over here was at the something something bank building, I think it was. HNN Bank Building, yeah, this one. This is where I want to have a crack at, see if I can get through and have a squeeze. It's a decent fly, by the way. The sweet panoramic cinematic shots. There's even like little glass panels on the side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, let's find a place to bonk her down and get inside and see what's going on. I'm, I'm sure this will go well for me. Oh, jeez. Oh. There's, like, there's a car alarm sound effect going on in the background. Is that, like... Oh, you get away from my dry cloth, please. Is that, like, just atmospheric stuff? That's really cool. I haven't heard that before. I was more concerned about the dire wolf that's just hanging around not too far away. All right, Josh, they're faster. They're faster and they hit like dump trucks. So maybe don't take it for granted this time. Take your time. Hit some shots and try to actually put some holes in zombies. You're going to call in a lot, but we'll be okay. That's why you're armed with the Dulcher. Holy shit, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, okay. I'm... Um, Oi! No, 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 no. No, you get away. You get away from my goddamn gyrocopter. I can't shoot him. He's in the middle. He was like in the cockpit. What am I supposed to do? Uh, what am I supposed to do about that? Can you... Yeah, please go down. They're all way too excited about my gyro. I need to get the, the motorcycle out of the back of it so oh, at least that I can pick it up and keep it protected. Oh, there's no way you hit me. There's no way you bloody hit me. You didn't even swing your sausages. How did that happen? 
I mean, look, direwolves are bad. They're a little bit dire, but they're also made of loot bags. So I would like to take your loot bag, please. I'm going to quickly just pop you in the back of the neck and scamper away a bit. Yeah, look at that. He's pricked up his devil-looking ears and he's looking for me. <laughs> I max out on stealth though there, Cobber. I may not be an assassin, but I'm still pretty bloody sneaky. Run away a bit more. He's got no idea. He's got no idea. He's wearing my crossbow bolts like his sideshow dire wolf. Yeah, you got you got you haven't got a shot. You haven't got a shot. Give me your bloody pockets, please. That's three in the chin. SMG will probably sort you out from them. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you bloody do it. Maybe another tier 4 chainsaw, some shotgun ammo, some 44 ammo. Actually, not too bad across the board then. Already filling up my pocket space, though, with things that I'm going to have to put away. Uh, uh, a bit high. Yeah, very high, actually. The bolt drop is insignificant. That was better. All right. I've had an idea that might actually be <laughs> a pretty decent idea, I'm hoping, to try and protect me and my future ankles. You died? No. Nope. No. Oh, jeez. They just they did not drop into the machete like they used to. How are you looking? Nah, you are taking a bit of a beating, but you're all right. You come with me. There's that other dire wolf. But I think before I start heading up, I should probably go and find a vending machine. I feel like this might be a good opportunity to have some oh shit drops on me. That might be a good shout. Just quickly get rid of this other dire wolf. I'm very bravely hidden oh, on top of the air conditioning duct where the doggo can't get to. You're gone. You're vomiting shit, mate. 4 a.m. kebabs and no one's idea of a good time. Gone and... Oh, they're bloody quick, aren't they? They are bloody quick. I'm so not excited to be in a confined space with them. Oh, you can get me up here, though. You're fine. <laughs> SMG's so good. Oh, you know what I should have done? Oh, no, it's only, it's only a remnant. I, I was like, you know, I, sh I should have stand, stood even inside the POI bounds to get that higher loot level. But now we're good. Chuck on you. Read that. Read all of you. Read all of you. Okay, let's go. I might quickly run home, drop off all of this, and then come back to it. Need to find a vending machine first. Got to get those drops. Before I head on out, though, there was a couple of ATMs here. Not going to say nah. 800 bucks in you. 800 bucks in you. Oh, and the weather has definitely shifted. Probably not great weather to be flying in, but we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Give it I crash my gyrocopter on a sunny, clear day. What's a rainstorm? What's a thunderstorm? What's going to happen? Are going to crash even more? Oh, no. That never happens to me. Somehow, I'm almost a better pilot in the rain than I was in the sun. That was, that was unusually decent by me. All right. In fact, you know what? Let's just go dump chest for now. I'll come back to you for later. I need you. Uh, you can come with me. The rest of that can all stay behind. I think the closest... Mm, yeah, probably. I think the closest vending machine is going to be down at Joel's. I haven't... I probably have found a couple around here, but I haven't marked them, so I'm not sure. Nice. Quick little pit stop. Up. That's going to be a terrible takeoff. How about you plonk yourself down the right way? There we go. See? A little bit of thought. A little bit of care. Fixed my jar I might last a little bit longer. I'm here for a short time, not a good time, Jolly Boy. You restock hey, today, you actually, don't you? You did restock today. Can you please, for the love of everything, you are shitting me. Give me a goddamn magazine extender mod. I cannot find one at all. I cannot find for my Dolce, and it's really starting to get on my tits a bit. Uh, you've got vehicle adventures, explosives, tactical warfare, wiring. I've already finished. I've no books that I need out of you. Is there anything actually, like, tempting at all? I cannot believe. I cannot believe how difficult it is for me to find a magazine extender. Um, nah, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, look, I've, I can come back and get it tomorrow anyway. Most of the stuff I can make. If you're too nope. cheap to buy armor, we've got all you need to make your own. I just... Mate, I will give you $6,000 redos right... Shit. Right here, right now, if you give me a goddamn magazine extender. Just double check it wasn't an idiot. No, there's definitely no oh shit drops in there. Where else could I find them? Where else could I find them? I'm going up a skyscraper. I feel like I definitely need them. In the hope of potentially, like, maybe coming across a vendor on my way back... What are we running there? We're there. There might be, but it'll take a little bit of raiding to get to it. I'm going to jump on the motorcycle instead. There might be like a, um, a Moe's USA or something like that around here. Someone that has like an easy to access vendor. 
But even, well, even without it, we're going. We're going back. There it is. The two spires on the roof calling me in. Yeah, this will go well. This will go well. What could possibly go wrong with this? Wait, is this the... Holy shit, it is. This is the this is the Patriot place. This is the place that I think I half looted. It was right next door. It was right next door to that joint. Well, I might... I might even be a, a vetting machine here somewhere. I might have a quick little... A quick little peek through you to see if I can find anything. Because I definitely ran out of here at a fair rate of knots when the whole world seemed like it was ending. Anything good? Anything good I might have missed? That door's locked. Maybe. I've, I've got a good feeling about it, which doesn't tell me anything. Oh, I was right. There was a vendor. But it's a dead vendor. And a drinks one as well. Not even for snacks. Well, maybe we'll find one in the building itself. It's a pretty BPOI. We might get lucky. Throw you away. Throw you away. Nothing else around. Yeah, nah. Yeah, bloody nah. All right. Well... Never mind then, it was worth the crack. Just making sure that I did tick off all the boxes in this joint. That's looking fine. Okay, enough en en <laughs> enough delays. Enough faffing about. Let's get in there. Let's get up there. There's the staircase. Just through we go. Oh, that's a long way up. Oh, it's a long way up. <laughs> Just please go well. No time like the present, I suppose. I was trying to wait for a good moment to come in when it might be a bit quieter, but it's the wasteland. It's... Oh, it wasn't a car alarm. It's this place. This POI has an alarm going? Okay, I didn't turn it off. I didn't turn it off somehow. That's a really cool feature. I wonder if there's going to be a thing at some point in the future where you might, like, you know, trigger an alarm in a POI and it calls in zombie hordes. That would be a really cool thing. It'd suck, but it'd, like, as a, like, a immersion thing, it would be really cool. That's, like, the third episode in the row where I've, I've started talking about things that would be cool in the game that would be awful to have to play through. Anything? Oh, that's the stairwell. All right. No vending machines, no poopers, and no toilet pistols. <laughs> I still get excited firing them, even at this stage of the game. Oh, there's a vendo. I'm going to turn off my headlight real quick to try and scout some shit out. There's a, a bigger, gigantic staircase right there that I didn't even see. Vending machine is broken anyway. Oh, no, that's a, that's a lamp. God, I, I mean, I've been looking for the extended mag mod for so long. Could also do with some NVGs. That'll go pretty well for my current loadout. I mean, I may not be completely assassined, but I am very stealthy. No! God damn it. Wait, am I? Oh, no, I'm back on the ground level. <laughs> Who built this place? It's made out of paper mache. There's not much to do, so I guess we go up another flight of stairs. I was going to say, I assume it's going to cut off at some point and start forcing me to go through level by level. Doors unlocked. In fact, you know I'm going to keep you close. Go, I have to try and find rooms that are dead ends and clear it part by part. Yeah, nothing down there. All right, into the next bits. Oh, jeez. I was going to say, when's the first zombies going to show up? But all the windows are broken. I can definitely fall out of them. Sneaky dicky. Took off your limb. Took off your noggin. Whoever needs the assassin armor. The machete will do it anyway. I can hear. Oh. Okay. I was going to say, I can hear tippy tappies. You might have just been one from the street. You might have just come up from the ground level, run up the stairs the whole way. All right, probably a bad shot to close that door then, just in case. If I didn't get out of here, I'm going to throw myself out the window. I have parkour after all. There's a few. There's a few just kind of wandering about. Did I, did I miss anything through here? A couple of filing cabinets and things. I didn't do any looting. I was only going through to try and find the zombies and didn't really find any at all. Just that, just that one guy. There's a little like hole in the wall. That's bloody cool. Do I just, do I have to break this or can I? Oh, yep. Not to scrape your scalp along the top. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I hate doing these things with the parkour because you jump so bleeding high, you bonk your noggin on everything. All right. Into the, into the air vents. Can I go, can I go up? Oh, well that's, no, this is on the same level. I feel like that's going to drop me down though. Um, yeah, no, I can go through there. I can't go up any further. Oh God. Oh no, not buttons. 
buttons and keys and all things bad. Oh, this is gonna call on a horde, isn't it? All right, I'll grab you quick. Grab, yep, shut a couple of pieces of fabric. Nah, sick. Love that for me. Oh, well, it's already a bad idea. Grab you. Grab you. The alarm still go on though. I can go right out of here. Scomo's waddling around. All right, well, there's a few, but I think we're all right for the most part. At least I can sit up the top and just kind of pepper him from up here. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine, mate. Just stay then. You can't open a new account. The bank's closed. I reckon, actually. I reckon... I don't think this is like just regular wanderers coming in. I reckon this is actually like it spawned the zombies outside and tried to bring them in. Unlucky few, mate. Already knocked out the floor, so you can't come through. I can... Oh, not hit that gap. Did that hit the door? <laughs> I thought I... There's a whole, a whole entire doorway in front of me, and I still... Still couldn't hit the gap. Okay, I'm in, a, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I'm in a bit of a, a bit of a problem. I can't really get out of here without going past the zombies. Treat him with the respect that you're supposed to. You're good. Oh, oh, less good. Less good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Why did the others find their way around there then? I was... Oh, my God. I was complacent and happy. Uh oh And feeling kind of okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yep. We're in trouble. Oh, we're in trouble. Get out. Get out. Get out into the courtyard and find him outside instead. Oh, God. Yeah, that um, that went from 0 to 100 very quickly. I'm just running and trying not to panic and using... Oh, jeez. Using my um my enforcer perk. I'm moving much quicker. But more importantly, reloading the Dolter much quicker. I doesn't do as much damage as the Preacher Gloves, but the faster reload, I think, is probably more beneficial to me than just sheer... Shit! Sheer amounts of damage. Just keep on moving. Keep on moving. Shark on a sticky first aid bando. Take shelter on top of a bus stop and... I need to get back in there though. The longer I spend outside, the more likely it is I'm going to start calling in a lot of extra badness. Call him inside. Call him inside. We'll find him in here. So that's the way I just came through. What do they actually... Shit. What do they actually open by pressing those buttons though? Oh, that was a great shot. I found a spot. I found a spot where the zombies can't seem to be able to get over to me. They're breaking down the wall instead of coming across the little, like, pathway over here. So it's like, I guess, like, this is the counter's pathing, and it's not quite, not quite wide enough for them. Okay. Okay. I'm copping a bit of a beating, but we're getting it done. This is, this is kicked off. This is absolutely kicked off. So I hit you. I grab the keys. What did I... What did I actually unlock then? Did I unlock some more of the elevator, maybe? This is the stairway up to the next level that so I dropped down on. Where, what did I do? That's still locked. Where do I go? I'm pretty sure I just heard a screamer down there somewhere, so that's bad news. Definitely heard a screamer down here somewhere. Definitely bad news. Um, Back through here. That door's still locked. I don't know what you want from me. Where, where, am, I, where am I supposed to be going? I wish I knew what, what that button did. All it did is call in the horde, apparently. Oh my god, you're here. There's a hole in the wall up there. I didn't see that the first time through. Was that there? I don't think that was... Oh my god. I don't think that was there to start with. Okay, there's definitely... Oh, I'm going to a new level, though. I can't fight them up here. There's no chance I'll be able to do that and fight, like, the new, the new spawns as well. All right, I'm going to deal with this first. I'm going to deal with this first. It's 20 past four. We're making no progress. I'm fighting hard. I'm fighting for my damn life out here. There's still just so much going on. You... Oh, I thought there was someone stuck, stuck behind the door. Oh, didn't mean to fall down. I'm moving to cooking for my own good. Wearing shoes made of soap. It sounds like there's more. It sounds like there's more. Okay, where was that? There was the hole. Cookie slink on into you. Turn off my headlights. Oh! Holy shit! You tried to give me a cuddle. You ran directly to the back of me, Ston. All right, if I just try and be a little bit quiet about this, hopefully the zombies that are down below will forget about me, and I'll be able to just kind of escape the ruckus for a bit. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Yeah, raiding in the wasteland on Insane Nightmare. Definitely a whole different beast. The worst thing is, is that I know that the entire bottom level of this place is now chockers with all sorts of undead. So if I don't do like this level stealthily, if I don't do this level properly, I'm going to be very quickly overwhelmed. You're all just waiting for me down there. They're not even like, they're not even out in the courtyards anymore. They're directly underneath me. Rolling toolbox. I don't want to do... 
sheets. Okay, that alerted you to where I was, but I just had an idea. If I can do that and alert you... Potentially... Okay, hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna break a window to save a window. Or to save me. And just kind of start throwing some pebbles down below. Because that might... Yeah, there we go. That might lure you guys out to go to where the rocks are falling. Go on, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of my goddamn foyer. Look at him. Look at him. Lured him out perfectly. Oh, that's my bike over there. Probably want to throw rocks towards that, but there you go. There you go away. There you go. Couple of cheeky pebbles here and there. And I can finally get some reprieve. Go further. Oh, I hit the right. <laughs> I hit the lip. Okay. Ooh. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I hit the bloody window. Just a little bit further, please. That's way too bloody far. I hate that it ends up like the zombies will go where the rock ends rather than where it lands. That was a perfect pill. Okay. All right. I think it gives me a little bit of time. A little bit of time. A little bit of breathing space. I think I'm pretty good for all the loot through here. Quick check the medicine cabinet for... <laughs> well, I start bleeding out of my organs. That'll come in handy. All right. This whole floor is clear. Oh, yes. This is even better, though. They can't climb ropes. I can. They can't. So this will give me... This will give me a gap. That'll give me a gap. Don't jump. Just uh, slink it off the side. That'll give me a gap that the zombies can't follow. So now I should be... I mean, yeah, I can't go backwards, but I should be at least a little bit safer than I was. Fuck. A second ago. <gasps> Backed myself with the crossbow. It was a bold move, but it got away with it this time. Oh, look at the view, though. Now we're starting to get into the proper suites. I thought that was a zombie soldier, but it's just a pile of rubble. I'm so on edge. I'm so I'm so on edge on here. Knowing how high the stakes are now. Oh my god. Knowing how high the stakes are now, I'm just not feeling good at all. Probably roll with the Dolter out then, just in case. No one in the loom. Check the storage room as well. That's actually the stairwell. So this would be a really good base. Like, this would be a really, really good base to live in. I've still got dreams of living in Zillion Tower, but this one's not too shabby either. Is there, like... Oh, I was going to say, is there no one left on this level, but those guys are below me? I think we're okay. I think we're okay. There's also a weapons bag in there. I assume it's going to be the same thing again. Going to have to, like, fall through the ceiling to get to it. I'm hearing... A lot of very close noises. I don't think I'm anywhere near as safe as I thought I might. Oh! And I thought I might have been. That's a pretty good sign that I'm almost definitely not. Can you... Where the shit did you come from? You couldn't have come... Up here. Can you climb... Can you climb a ladder? Gonna put an end to that. Oh. Oh! You cheeky bloody sausage. Absolutely not. Not dealing with that shit. Oh, I'll hang you up like an effigy to keep the rest of them away. Can't quite reach that. Actually, could I... Could, I've been hitting things like that for a while. Can I break you with bullets? I probably could, but nah, never mind then. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so much. There's so much and I don't know where they are. Alright, I think at this point, I think I'm out of time. I think I'm out of time for this level. I've got to keep going higher like it's a horror movie. I want to get in there. I want to get in there. I'm going to have to drop through the ceiling later. Would have gone through... Oh, almost all of you left the bookshelf behind. Just no time. No time. Just read them and read them quick because something's going to come up behind us if we take too long in here. How do I get to the next level? Oh. No, that's the way I just came from. Okay, that's fine. So I guess the stairwell. Oh. Oh my god. All right. Yes, the stairwell. It's a bit of a turkey shoot, but... <laughs> Just put them down anyway. Where'd the other one go? They're all coming from everywhere. I didn't think you could make it through that gap. Just keep going up, Josh. Just keep going up. The zombies will... Oh, jeez. The zombies will chase you forever. Why is that stairwell... Uh-oh. I heard something. Why is that stairwell complete? Is it like a jail? Or is this like the vaults? Oh, my God. What are you? I can't quite tickle the button from here, but I'd, I'd kind of like to. You're way too strong. You're not particularly strong. Neither are you. Slice you up. I was hoping I could just kind of reach out and tickle the button from here and use whatever this is to try and protect myself. Very interesting. Very interesting. That's why it's all burned out. 
I was going to say, is this how I get down into the level down below where that weapons bag was? Or is that going to be a later thing? Nothing at any of you guys. I can probably throw away the paper I've got. Scrap you, turn that into building blocks. I've got my gyro on me. And given I'm <laughs> not far from the top of the sky, probably a pretty good idea. Read you, read you, throw that away. I don't think I get this done by night. I don't think I'm going to get this done by nightfall. There's a blue ammo crate in there too. Oh, okay. And a key box. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's going to mean that's where I fall through for that. Well, where was the way down? Hang on, where was it? Where was it? It was like to the, no, to the right of that one. Oh no, around the back. Around the back. Okay, it's on the eastern side of the building. How do I get in there then? Let, let me into the loot room. Oh, no, I see. Okay, that's the eastern side of the building. All right, so I guess I'll go down into there through the vaults. Fair play then. Elevator's still working. Well, up to the next level. How many more levels are there? There's so many more. I said it before and I was wrong, but now I should be safe up here. I should be far enough away now that whatever's down there shouldn't find me. Could we throw a pebble just to, just to see what happens? That's a good... Oh. I was going to say, that's a good arm to try and lure him out. A shit shot to follow it up with, though. Two shit shots to follow it up with, though. What I even try? There we go. Okay, so if he ran out, the pebble didn't go too fast. So that should be everyone who's down below me. So I guess now I'm high enough that whatever spawns down in the world won't be able to find me up here. At least I bloody hope not. I've made my first pass through this floor. Now I can go around. Oh, for a moment. For a moment, I thought that was a, um, an extended mag mod. Anytime I see those gears, I get a little bit tickly. Check you as well. But I've gone through this whole level once already. So now I can go through a little bit louder with my light on and see if I can find anything. Still got the gyro. I'm running out of space. I'm also running out of daylight. It's about to be night. <laughs> now it is night. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I'm... Oh, God damn it. I'm glad I waited until night time to do this, but... All right, here we go. I thought that was something coming for me. It's just the moon. Even celestial bodies are getting me knackered now. Check the blue munitions box for... Still no extended mag mod. I'm just never going to find one. I'm just never going to have one. I know I mentioned it this morning, but the atmospherics now are so good. Like, the proper, like, lighting and stuff in the world. There's a pigeon just outside. How are you, pigeon? Can I... Nope. Okay, never mind then. But like, yeah, like, like the moon reflect... Missed it. The moon reflect your stuff. Oh, it's bulletproof glass is why. The moon reflections, everything. Like, yeah, I usually run with the headlight on all the time, but just occasionally. Yeah, occasionally it looks good. There's the ladder going up the elevator shaft to the next level. You know what? I'm going to do it. Every time I get to somewhere new where I haven't spawned in, like, the next level of zombies yet, I'm going to break the ladder that I'm climbing. Just to make sure if they... Like, I, I, could, I didn't think they could climb a climbing rope. Turns out they can. They've discovered their opposable thumbs. But if I could just get a little bit of a gap between each level... We've got one, two, three. We've got three levels left to go. If I can just get a little bit of a gap between each level, I'll be so much better off. Doors locked, doors locked, doors locked. No one in the bathrooms. All right, good. <laughs> So always the first place to check. Oh, this is that thing. Oh, with a, oh my God, with a climbing. I want to do it. I want to do it. It's such a bad idea. How far down does that go? Like a decent way down. If I had my own oh shit drops, I'd absolutely give that a crack. But I feel like as soon as I touch that, I'm going to be very quickly careening to my death. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe once like the, the building's cleared and I'm leaving, maybe I can give that a whirl. I just want to, could I have like jumped out and grabbed? Oh, does that lead? I'm on the eastern side of the building. Does that lead down to that? Oh, shit. <laughs> Such a bad idea. Such a bad idea. All right, come on. We're giving it a go. We're giving it a go. Like I'm freaking Tom Cruise on the Burj Khalifa all the way down. Does this lead to that sneaky office with the weapons bag? It sure as shit does. Look at that. That's called paying attention. Bloody rare for me to do it, but you bloody beauty. I'll grab you. Uh, whack you on so I can read you. Scrap that. Put that back on me titties again and grab the books on the way past. Nice, Gary. Gonna see if I can uh, jump back on the climbing rope again and take the shortcut back up to where I came from. All right. That was heart and mouth kind of stuff, but we managed to make it work all the way up. Don't trust parkour and 
Back in the window we go. Sort of to clear this place out. I haven't even cleared this level yet. Oh, look. There's a vendor. I was just thinking to myself, how do I get out there? Balcony? I was just thinking to myself that I hadn't seen any vendors in this place yet, and that was a little bit unusual. I can't go out the window there. How do I get around? How do I get into that bit? I've opened up all the doors in here. Is there a way through that wall? I've gone through the kitchen. Nothing much to speak of. No, and check the ovens. I'm not especially sure. I'm also getting pretty thirsty too. I've only got mm, I've only got murky waters. I don't have any vitamins on me either. Come on, come on. Anything good? Anything fun? Stop giving me rotten. Stop giving me rotten Vegemite sangers. Either give it to me fresh or don't. There's a hole in the wall. Ooh, into the crawl space. Oh, come on. Ah, there, there you go. In the in the stair. Ooh, in the stairwell. Grab the key first to make sure I'm... Oh, I'm back down this level. Okay, nice, nice, nice. I'll quickly grab all of you. Still no way out to the vending machine balcony, though. It's like it's calling me. It's like it, it's like it knew I was coming here. It gave me a balcony, gave me a vending machine. If a coffee shows up at this point, then I know. I'll take that mega crust. It's going to give me 60 water. Ooh, I'll probably save it till the morning, actually, because I'm about to wind down for the night. I do have coffee beans. I don't have a cooking pot. You can stay there for the moment. Coffee maker. More coffee beans. I'm not sure that eating the grounds would be the same thing. A crunchy coffee is no one's idea of a good time. Um, what can I get rid of? What's not really doing anything for me here? I can get rid of you, which means I can grab that. There you go. That mega crush. Search everything else as well. I need, I need like five more pieces of fabric so I can turn my, uh, my glue into duct tapes and my duct tapes into repair kits. I feel like I've definitely earned that. Oh man. For a, for a remnant skyscraper, like I knew it was going to be bad, but this has been a whole thing. All right, well, with that, I'm going to uh, take my seat in my little corner spot. So I have, look at that, a nice panoramic view all around the wasteland. I'm going to have to leave this episode here. I'm not done with this yet. I'm going to continue on raiding this new skyscraper POI, which is actually really, really cool. I, don't, I mean, the vault feels familiar from something. I don't remember where. This might have been like an older version in an old alpha, but I haven't been through this particular PY before, and I'm loving the adventure. But I'll have to come back and hopefully not continue to get distracted by the view, finish off the new skyscraper, and try and find that magazine extender mod in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching, most of all. Thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like Make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter, but I'll talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.